Hello, welcome back to the More Freedom Game Studios here in the Mad Games Tycoon. Uh, from the last time, we were doing wild, crazy stuff with Terrors in the Night, the More Freedom series. Everything was just insane, and we're back to the insanity here as we try. We work towards getting our console developed and all of that stuff. So we've got Cowboys of the West going on right now. It's about 15% complete. And this is done, so we're going to cancel this task over here, and we're going to put them on improving the gameplay for Cowboys of the West 2. This is done, so we're going to cancel that task, and we're going to get them on high-quality animations for Cowboys of the West 2. So they are going... We're still working on all of our console stuff. They're bug fixing. This stuff's going well. Um, they're actually almost done on the graphics for... We made 19 million on the backs of the $217 million. $217 million we have made on the More Freedom Series 2005. I don't even know what to say to that. Um, they're almost done here. This we can cancel. And let's get them on develop an engine, update an old engine. Let's see if we have anything that we can do here. We do. So let's get them going on that. They're working on this. This is going... I mean, we're making 73000 a month on, you know, our fan shop. Let's get them on a marketing campaign for uh, the More Freedom series. Why not? Why not? And that's going, that's going. This is going. I mean, we've got everything is just going at this point. You know what I mean? So, we're not producing much freedom right now. We have plenty of them in stock for everything. So, thankfully, we got caught up on our production for both the More Freedom series and Terrors in the Night. Unfortunately, they're falling in the charts, but, you know, that do be like that sometimes, right? So, yeah. Just watching everything work its magic here, basically. And um, need to get rid of this small little section right here. We're going to keep the big stock room over here. I wonder if I upgraded that to like the latest stuff. Like, uh, Yeah. Let's do some upgrades, I guess. Get these upgrades done. And can we, uh, did I see if we could do it? Okay, yeah, that's good. Large booth. Select a game, uh, More Freedom Series 2005, Terrors in the Night, and Cowboys of the West 2. Hey, we're back to number one in the charts for the More Freedom Series, doing another uh, 163 a week. I, yeah, dumbfounded with that. Okay, so we don't need any more. We're going to do special marketing. We're going to get that out for Cowboys of the West. No, we want to do Elves versus Dwarves beta demo because it's actually pretty close. I mean, it's at 95%. So we'll get the beta out for that. And let's check our job market because, I mean, we got, you know, the console DevOps just over here chilling doing nothing did we need a nope we're good there we're good there uh yeah we definitely need 
hardware engineering. Looking, nope. Excuse me, don't have anything. Right, so we're moving right along with everything. All right, plus three for elves versus dwarves. Let's continue development. Continue development. And let's do special marketing for that, pre-release for the press. So that is going. This is almost done. This is going. Um, that is almost done. So this is actually almost done with everything. We, we're now up to 500 million. And just the largest game we have ever sold by far. The More Freedom Series 2005. Uh, I think we're good there. Marketing campaign. We don't need to do any of that. Special marketing. Um, let's release a beta demo for Cowboys of the West 2. It's going to be early. It's an early beta. Early beta. So this is done. We're going to cancel the... Actually, we'll wait. We'll wait until this one's done. And then we'll cancel that task. And we'll move them up to support for up here. Hey, plus six on that. So let's go ahead and cancel this task. And get them on support up here. Cancel this task. And get them on support up here. Help them knock all that stuff out. You know what I mean? So this is technically done. So finished development. Self-distribution. Mm -hmm. uh, four weeks. Sounds like a good plan. Mm-hmm. Seventy-five. Ah, oh, we need to hire gameplay on it. That's okay. All right, we're going to develop a game. New PC and console. Get actually, we want to do a sequel. I think we need to hold off on that. So I think we're gonna go. A sequel to hmm. maybe because it hasn't been off the release date. Hmm. thinking Let's see what we got uh, Pirates of the Orient Terrors in the Night we could do a sequel to Terrors in the Night can we do a sequel to Terrors in the Night we cannot Okay. Um, I'm going to check. Okay, we're good there. I'm just checking things out. All right, so... Let's come back up here... 
develop a game, or we could do an add-on, I suppose, if we wanted. What if we did, no, we don't want to do an add-on. I don't like doing add-ons. I don't think add-ons would be out just yet. Like, I think we'd be looking at add-ons for, you know, later in, you know, the, the 20-teens, I think. So let's say... I'm gonna try. We're gonna go with some. Gonna go with a sequel. What do we got for popularity of the IP? That's pirates. Pirates. The Iceman. What do we do? The, what, okay, we got something. We're going to put it at a triple A game. Actually, we're, we're going to like make it part two motorcycle racing. Mm hmm. Again, all the usual suspects here. And that guy and that guy. Yep. Mm hmm. Why not? Okay. Okay, give me all the things you think I need. 49, okay. Hmm. Well, if we took one in-app purchases, Cosmetics and skins. Let's go back one. Do we have online multiplayer? Multi. Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. We got them going. So let's, uh, what are we at here? They are pretty close to all of that. Let's get them on bug fixing right away on this guy. We're going to wait for them to finish. This is almost done. And that's almost done. That is almost done. Oh no! Uh, we don't operate any servers, so it's fine. Um, cancel task? Yes. So we want hardware, and then we want to grab the two core CPU, get in on that, get that started. This is done. Cancel that task. Yes. Get them high quality animations on there. Let's go. All right. More positiveness going on there. This is almost done. So we're going to let them just work on that. We're going to cancel this. And high quality sounds on this guy. He's going. And they are supporting them. 
So we're going to let them, we're going to cancel this task. And we're going to get them high quality graphics over here on this. And then this is almost done. So we're going to get them on improving gameplay over here. It's a whole process, you know what I'm saying? Hey, we're up to number three in the charts on Elves vs. Dwarves. I didn't even realize it came out. We've been so busy doing all the other stuff. Uh, improved gameplay on this guy. Let's go. More Freedom Series is still number two in the charts. They've done 11 million copies of the More Freedom Series 2005. Terrors in the Night is almost done. Uh, had a good run. It's made us $49 million. $49 million. Elves dwarves versus Dwarves. I mean, it's okay. Like, it's an okay deal. And it's... Oh, we need. We definitely need some um, marketing for it. So let's get into a marketing campaign for Elves versus Dwarves. And let's get some internet ads going on out there. So let's get that going. And that's going, that's going. That is almost done. They have one more there to go. All right. Got everything going there. We're all pretty close to making money on Elves versus Dwarves. We just we need a little bit more hype on it. You know what I'm saying? We need a little bit more hype there. See if we can get some hype before the end of the year. Okay. Special marketing for elves versus dwarves. Publish a demo. Get that. Get that hype going. You know what I'm saying. I mean, we're two and twenty-one and five in the charts. It's not doing terrible. I mean, the More Freedom series two thousand five is still doing insane. Um, marketing campaign for elves versus dwarves. Let's do. I'm going to do a top streamer. Let's try it out. I mean, I don't think in 2005 there were streamers, but uh, there could be. Plus 11. Good, good. Good. Terrors in the Night is pretty close to being done right now. This is this is doing good. This is doing good. This is doing good. What do we got over here? Almost the 33 megahertz CPU. Um, can't, it's almost done. So just I don't I didn't realize it was doing that. We want to do hardware. And oh yeah, that would be why. Um, whatever that is, let's go. in the automation on that. Okay, so what do we got over here? Um, nope. Update an old engine. Do we have anything here that we can do? We do not. Okay. What do we got over here? Commission work. Sure. Go for it. Okay, that's going, that's working, that's going. We're gonna leave them on whatever is going on here. Hey! Oh, didn't get, didn't get game of the year, that's okay. We got best soundtrack and best graphics for Elves vs. Dwarves. And it's hit 100%, so nice. Uh, get that hype going. You know, we're in the Christmas gifting window. Let's buy, buy, buy. You know what I'm saying? Buy, buy, buy. 
Let's get some buy-in going on. Uh, this is almost done, and... Okay. Looking at all of this nonsense... Yeah, we know, it's too cold. So we're kind of just waiting right now. Waiting on all this to get finished, and... Um, this is almost done, so our CPU is almost complete. And again... 12 million copies on the More Freedom Series 2005 is insane. That's insane levels of insanity is what that is. Elves vs. Dwarves is doing a lot on the in-app purchases, so that's good. They're still doing 130000 a week on, on the More Freedom Series 2005. Um, gameplay features, social media integration... Um, console features, streaming. We'll do that in a minute, but we're going to get the hard, the next piece of the hardware going here, which would be a 20 gig hard drive, I guess, 512 megabytes of RAMs. So we're going to get that going. And I was, I was hoping... I was hoping that we could get the console out before the end of the series, the season here, which may be the end of this series. And I believe that this will be the last, the last episode in this season. So it is indeed the last episode of this season for the more freedom game studios and this may actually be the last episode for the series in general um if you do want to see more of this let me know and maybe we do it on stream but i think this might be the last episode of the series for the more freedom game studios and i think we've been we've had a lot of success in it as far as the game's gone like the just how much fun we've had in the game and just building uh, up to the More Freedom Series 2005, which has done an insane number, 13 million copies, and it is still doing 115,000 a week, which to me is just crazy. It is just crazy. And um, yeah, so I think I'm going to, we're going to leave it here. And if you eventually want to see more of the More Freedom Game Studios, just let me know. And maybe we'll do another season of it or something. But that's going to do it for the More Freedom Game Studios. Thank you so much for watching this season of the series. And I really, really appreciate it. And if I do get back into it, maybe we'll finish that console development and see how everything goes. So I appreciate you coming and hanging out. And until next time here on the channel, take care.